now, another MTG Casual Commander. Hey all, this is Dash, MTG Casual Commander. Today I'm going to be opening up my personal box of Ravnica Remastered Collector Boosters. Alright, so I do know from watching other videos on this and doing a little research, these, the, the serialized number of cards are worth the most, but then you want the foil Psychonic Riff anime. That's like the best card to pull right now. And then you got the foil Retro Brewer Shocklands. So we're gonna go like that. Nah. Leave the box right there. Let's put all the packs on screen. Oh, I'm good. My goal, though, hopefully, is to pull a serialized card and get some cool stuff. See if I get my value back. All right. All right, we got a Domery Raid. Full art anime. There we go. That's cool. Oh, the first pack. Anime Psychonic Riff. It's not the foil, but I still love it. Ooh, and then a Blood Crypt Retro Border. Wow, this first pack is freaking Ghost Wave. This first pack is bombing. Or not bombing. This is blasting for a first pack. Jeez. <laughs> first pack. <laughs> Jesus. That's wow. a great first pack. All right, and then we still have, Call the Conclave is still a really good card. Signet, no, there should be at least one pack per collector's box that has a secret rare in it. It'll be either a Shockland or a Chromatic Lantern. I've seen it done two, twice in one box, but mainly one, it's almost guaranteed one per box. Now that I said that, it probably won't happen. Alright, we got a rare, we got, ooh, Temple Garden. Nice, you know what? I'm gonna keep these on screen. I wanna see how many lands I pull. Well, there's a third one. <laughs> Sacred Foundry, nice. Seal of the Guild Pack. Yeah, those lands are all still going for six to 10 bucks a piece, so. Yep, and then they had to reprint these Replicate. Replicate, what was it? Replicate, oh. Uh, yeah. I know that was a Ravnica thing, but don't do that anymore, Wizards. We don't want two cards on one card. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Unless you can play both sides of it at one time. Get that there. That's not rare. What am I doing? All right. I guess these guys are really sought after because you can have as many as them you want in your deck. Target player mills a card, tap four and tap advisors. You control target player mills 12 cards. Those are... I did that. I'm just going to go with a rat's deck, man. Yep, I got a rat's deck. It needs a little work though. It's so low powered and so low value that it's not even sleeved. I'm a savage with that deck. I don't play it sleeved, I just shuffle it. Like a deck of cards. <laughs> so this set is really weird because they did so many serialized. I think they did 64 cards that have uh, up to 500 yep, serialized. And, it'll, and your serialized is, is always going to be this card behind the token. Ooh, Crypt Ghast, anime. Yeah. Oh, that's cool looking though. Protein Hulk, that dropped in value horribly. <laughs> it went down to like three bucks. Ooh, Nicol Bolas though. That's cool, I never actually owned him. Now I can throw him in, do I have a- You do now. Yeah, but do I have a deck like that though? I don't know if I got a deck net color. Hey look, retro foil. He that just requires good. three black, that's so hard in a three color deck. Yeah, that's true. Fast. That's why you have the signets here. That's why you get the uh, dark ritual. Boom, three black mana. Yep, there you go. Why am I putting that on my rares? I want those separated. All right, next pack. I'd be proud of you if you spent your dark ritual mana on a nickel bonus. I have to build a. I don't think I have a, color, a three colored deck with black, blue, and red in it though. Oh, luminous bracers. Illusionist, not a luminous. Spark double anime. That's kind of cool. I do love the anime art that they're doing here. Another Supreme Verdict. Did I, I pulled that one last pack, I think. Fight, or er, why can't I pronounce his name? <laughs> the Hydra. <laughs> the Plant Hydra. Damage would be dealt to it, but that one you want one counters on it instead. Gutter Snipe, always a good card. Ah, no, another guild gate. And another guild gate. Anybody know that reference? <laughs> All right. I'm only caring about the good stuff. You guys have probably seen 
has opened up so many times. This is only the second collector box on the channel, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, everybody knows the commons. Uh, for this set. Yeah. Tells them you're wolf blood. I only got three lands so far. But that just changed right here. Breeding pool. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Rest in peace. This should be a black card and the Undertaker should be on it. <laughs> Court of Calling is awesome, a great card. Awesome card in green. Yeah, it is. And you know what? I don't know what happened to all my old versions of it, so it's going to go on my green decks. Quick ahead. All right. Oh, excuse me, guys. <coughs> oh. All right. I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, even in the comments, I like this guy. Three for a 2-2 two -two Flying Haze, red and white. Yeah, I can't go wrong there. I don't understand why Quicken isn't that sought out. Well, I guess it's one blue man just to draw a card. There's probably better ways to draw cards in blue than take up a card slot that just gets you one for one. Where's all the Savannah Lions in this set, Dash? No, you know what I'm, I'm sad about, though? They didn't reprint Stinkwood Imp. A foil retro border of watery grave. Oh, and a temple garden. Nice. Oops, forgot about the camera thingy. Another Talzmir wolf blood. Ooh, Ooh there you go. a foil the raise board. This is actually my commander, actually, for my red deck. <laughs> yeah. Farseek, also a great card. Lightning Helix, another great card. The, just the Ravnica block had so many good cards in it that I think that's why they just keep reprinting it every like couple of years because there's so many good cards that are playable in this set. And all right, on to the half of the box is gone. And so far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This might be your fastest box opening ever, Dash. Ooh, Ghost Away Retro Frame Foil. Nice. Tomek, the anime art. I like it. Ooh, Pack Rat. Who was the one that liked Pack Rats in the last box? Opening. Gus. Gus. Gus has just been Pack Ratty. Well, there's one for you, Gus. Got a Pack Rat. Unbreakable Formation. I'm happy I'm not getting a whole crap load of them. Like, I mean, the anime art's really cool in it. But... I'm happy I'm not getting a crap load of them. Aha! Rhythm of the Wild. That is a great card for green and red. Great, great card. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize how fast I was going. Well, I can slow down and talk. <laughs> now, will I get a serialized card in here? This, I want to be the... I Kind of my goal is to be the first one to do it on this channel. Nope, I got the foil anime art of Prime Speakers again. Nice. Ooh, anime art of the Arclight Phoenix. Probably one of the best Phoenixes you can play with, right? I don't know. I don't play those. Blind Obedience. Oh, dang, yeah, that is Exort. And makes all your opponent's stuff come into play tapped, except for the lands. How many of these guys am I going to get? <laughs> That's my third one. I think you're gonna get five before this is all said and done. Told me your wolf blood times uh, five. That's a guild gate. Gutter snipe again. Hey, okay, foil putrefy is always nice. We're gonna see putrefy. Where'd you see putrefy? It's back a couple. Back, back, back. Oh, this way. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. Mm. Yep, green and black. I think that actually is in my elf deck. If it's not, it's going in there. I don't know why I don't have it in there. Man, that thing's going to be so much worse now that I've gotten cards. I actually bought a card off of eBay for that, for my elf, green and black elf deck that I enchanted creature when it dies. I searched my library for a creature card and put it to play. <laughs> Ooh, birds of paradise. I was hoping I'd get one of those. Another prime speakers again of this one, not foil though. I should really make a Merfolk deck. Oh, I was hoping I'd pull this. I want this for my deck. This is such a cool card. 
especially because I don't have a way to get that many ways to get my stuff back anyways from my graveyard in that deck, so I might as well remove them and do damage. What was that? I didn't even look at that, I just pulled it away. Assemble the Legion. <clears throat> Ultimate price. Skewer the Critics, that's really cool. I don't know if we've done Spectacle yet for classes. It, we might have. No? Unfortunately, these ones don't tell you what's on them, and I forget what it does. <clears throat> Which means once the class is out, I'm gonna have to watch that video because I forget how what it does. I think this is the part of the unboxing where you start threatening and talking smack about the other players. <laughs> it's hard to do when I keep, and let, except for the live game, I lost every game I played. <laughs> oh. Two more packs to try getting a... I don't think I've gotten a Legion that yet, have I? Ooh, Lord of the Void anime art. That's cool. Oh, look at the evil-looking bat fish things. Demon Spawn. That is a great card, though. Bottled Cloister. Hey, look, Superman City. What is it, Krypton? In a bottle? Losing its bracers again. Kind of gone cold on my lands. Yeah, what's up with that dash? You got <clears throat> two packs to make it up now. Downsize. One mana, the target creature you don't control gets a negative four, negative zero ton turn, and you can overload it. Open the gates also. Not bad to look for a land search card from that from Ravnica block. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> Come on. This has got to be the pack. Yes, this has got to be the pack. More Shocklands or Serialized. Oh, nope. Mizzix Mastery. I probably won't get a Serialized. I wasn't expecting to. Ah, oh, there we go. Hollow Phone. But it was a pack for more of these. Ooh, Carl off the Ghost Console. That is a sweet card. Yeah. In the Retro Border? That's kind of cool. I don't really run any black and white stacks. Warrant Warden. I mean, for two mana to put target attack and blind creature on top of his own library isn't that bad. As well, Grazer. Hey, secret rare, secret foundry. Look at that. More far seeks, so I can have enough. I like this guy too. I don't know why. So scavenge zero. It's a one-one for one. <laughs> you just give one of your other creatures a plus and plus encounter after that guy chump block something. All right, final pack of this box so far. I am very happy. I got anime art that I wanted. Got my Birds of Paradise, this iconic rip anime. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Shockland box. You'll get one more. So I'm actually above average. Average is usually five, I think. I don't know of all the videos I've watched of this open. All right, what will we have here? Oh! There it is, buddy. <laughs> the Foil Psychonic Rift Anime Art. Wow, two Psychonic Rifts in one box. Can't go wrong with that. And then a the Lost. You better sell that anime art version real quick. That's an awesome card, too. Stitch in time. Flip the coin. If you win the flip, take an extra turn after this one. Yeah, that is. Ooh, Karn the Great Creator. Nice. Well, experiment. Experiment one. One for one, one, and evolve. Remove two bone counters from it. Regenerate it. Evolve, I think, adds counters somehow, right? I can't remember what evolve does. It took all the food. They took all the stuff off of the dang cards. Ah, uh, no more secret rare. So I only got one pack of the secret rare, but that's okay. Because I am happy with this box. Let's show off God. the anime Cyclonic Rift as you're closing these guys out. That thing is awesome. Heck yeah, that is. We got eight shock lands. We got one foil old bordered one and a foil regular border and a foil borderless, or is it extended art? I don't know. I guess it's two different versions. I guess one's borderless, one's extended in some sets. Yeah, look at that. 
This is a pretty heavy mythic box too, actually. It's three, it's four, maybe not. <laughs> I might have been wrong on that. Um, yeah, I think I was wrong on that. <laughs> Five. Six, seven, eight, nine mythics. Nine mythics. Including, nine boom, one foil, one non of the Cyclonic Rift. That makes it five Cyclonic Rifts I own now. <laughs> you better sell that anime foil while you still can. Yeah, I probably will. It's pretty, but I got the non foil version to use anyways. I have one of the original ones too, because I think it was originally in the Return to Ravnica box I opened. And I think I pulled one in Commander Masters, too. Alright, so... I'm not gonna lie, that was a really good box again for me. I don't... haven't... When I get home, I'll check to see if I got my value back, but that's okay, because I've got so many good playable cards. You know, I've never played this card. Whenever you tap a Swamp for mana, an additional Swamp? Oh, dang, no wonder why people love this guy. <laughs> I've never read it before. I've never owned a Crypt Gas before, so that's worth it. Nice. Well, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you thought of my box opening. Let me know what you thought of the cards that I pulled in my cool foil Cyclonic Rift. Bam. Please like and comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I am out. Trample that like button. And if you dare, comment below. Let the magic continue.